Hey guys, I just want to show you a quick uh, setup with uh, Windows 2012 and a Windows Surface tablet. So here I have a single server 2012 box running everything, all the RDS roles. Uh, let me minimize here. So here you can see my collection. The quick overview shows all the roles here. Web access, gate, licensing, connection broker, everything is here running on the same box. And right now I have my session here, log it in. So I'll just show you the performance. Let's open Test Manager. I just want to show you the Windows Tablet RT device. So right now I just have VLC as a published app, as you can see. And it ties right into the, the start a screen, whatever it's called on Windows 8. So you can see my uh, remote apps under applications right here. Remote desktop. So I can click, touch, and then I see my published applications, my work resources. It completely integrates into Windows 8. So if we go back to the desktop, we can see my PubShed application right here. And I'll just open a high definition Windows Media. So this is over 100 megabits. My server is connected to 100 megabits, passing through a, an apposite box. So you can see the connection is 100 megabits. And we have zero milliseconds for latency and no packet loss. So just let, let's take a look at how it performs. Of course, full screen is, is hard. Okay, so here you go. This is Windows Media High Definition. You see, the performance is very decent. Like, very decent frame rates and very good audio. Audio we can check if we just do a swipe. Uh, actually, we need to go here. I'll show you where we see, but we can check the connection, the RDP connection, if TCP is enabled, UDP, you know, that sort of stuff, how the audio is being handled. But you see, the quality is, is very good. So now let's pause it, go back here, and let's change a little bit on the wind. Let's add a uh, hundred milliseconds, one way and fifty the other way. So we have a hundred and fifty milliseconds in total. So we can apply changes. So 150, so it doesn't matter if we do 75 and 75, the bottom line is the round strip will be 150. And we can confirm if I try to ping my box. You can see 150 milliseconds round trip. So I go back here. And let's try and I'll play with 150 milliseconds over our DP8. Still very impressive, even at 150 milliseconds. Audio is very good. And we can see 
so there it is our transmission rate so you can see we are always under 5 megabits per second so very good and as I said the performance is very fine even at 150 milliseconds Let's pause, go back again, and let's increase the, the delay. Let's go 125 and 125. So now we have 250 milliseconds. And let's refresh here every second. So the refresh here is every second on the opposite. And now let's take a look at the video again again this is 250 and you can see right here if I ping the box now we have a 250 millisecond delay and the Windows tablet this is the 8 RT so it's the ARM CPU not Intel very impressive Okay, so this gives you a, a, a good idea of how Windows 8 RT tablets behave when connected to a 2012 RDS over 250 milliseconds. We can even throw some loss here, 0.5%. Uh, and let's go and apply the changes. Now we have packet loss here. And it's still playing just fine. Of course, some artifacts now with the loss, but it's still like really impressive. Okay, guys, that's all. I hope this gives you a, a good overview of 2012 RDS performance when coming from a Windows 8 RT tablet, the Surface.